Why are New Year's resolutions for the weak, the weak-minded, the weak people, the conformists, the middle class, you know, the sheeple, why are they for the weak? Well, you always hear on New Year's, and you'll probably hear it again in four months, five months. This is going to be my New Year's resolution. I'm going to do this in the New Year. Then, they get all excited about it. They're happy it's the New Year. Everyone's drunk or partying. And then it doesn't happen. Why? Because the people who are actually motivated have goals. It may take them a long time, but they do them. They execute them. They make them happen. People who wait until the end of the year to make a resolution are the weak-minded people because they are waiting for this to happen to make a goal. When every single day you have of your life, you have the chance to make goals and do them. You are the one who chooses. You make your reality. You make your destiny. You are the reason you are failing. There could be some asswipe telling you that you can't do something. There could be a parent telling you that. There could be a sibling. There could be a grandpa, a grandma, an aunt, an uncle, a kid at school that's mean to you. And then you blame them. And you don't get what you want. You, you blame other people. I did this for the longest time. Blame other people for your problems, for your issues. You put all your energy into just being sad. You, you see all these, all these marketing commercials for depression pills or anti-anxiety drugs or get this psychiatrist so they'll talk to you about your problems or why am I depressed? Take this supplement. Take this supplement. It will get rid of depression. No, you have to get rid of those problems yourself. Don't you just love it how honest I am on this channel? I just like telling you, the viewer, the truth. Instead of lying to you and saying, everything will be okay. It's okay. It's just a minor setback. Go. You are the one who chooses your destiny. I grew up with epilepsy. I think I still have it. I would be seizure free for three months if I didn't stop taking my meds thinking I could just jump off of them. If I had the money to switch only to weed, I would. I really would and eventually I will. Why? Because I have the mindset of I can and it will happen. You can have the mindset of I can and it will happen or oh I wish I could do that. Maybe it will happen one day. I hope it happens. I hope it happens. But oh it didn't happen. The people who say that money isn't important. The people who say that money can't buy happiness. The people who say you don't need money to be happy are full of shit. You, yes, you will love money and respect it more when you earn it, when you work for it, whether it's getting passive income because you don't just get passive income unless you have rich parents. You have to work towards it. You have to learn from your mistakes and make it happen. Yet so many people in our society still think that if something doesn't happen or if it's hard, you quit. And those are the losers. Those are the middle class. Those are the basic people. The people who live check by check to survive every month. They don't have an improvement mindset. They don't have a, oh, I started a business, but I'm not going to expand it. They don't have the expansion mindset. They don't think outside of the box. They cower. They hide. They just find a comfort zone and they keep it. They don't 
bother to go out any further. And that's what you have to do if you want to go out further. You have to try. You have to find a goal, stick to it, stay with it. Do you know how hard it was for me growing up? I would save up money to spend it on one big thing. I wanted a GameCube when I was... I don't know how old I was. I wanted a GameCube a really long time ago. And I saved up all my money, every dollar bill, for it. But then I had no money left. So the thing with money is that you can either have money, like Robert Kiyosaki said, you can have money work for you, or you can have money work against you. Or he said, you work for the money. You can work for the money, or it can work for you. That sounds more right. Pretty much... You could start a business. It might not, it won't make anything when it first starts out. Then you keep going at it. You keep following that dream, that goal. And eventually, after years, yes, it will take a long time. It will happen. Nothing just happens like, <laughs> I'm going to start an aquarium business. And then you just build a bit building, get the permit, and it exists. No. No, 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 no. There's so much more to things that we just aren't taught in regulated A school. We aren't. We're not told you can do this, you can have passive income, you can learn about all these other all these other things that they just don't tell us. They just say, okay, here's the book, here's a history book, here's a math book, here's an English book, here's an economics book. That's all you need to know. And they don't teach us how to mail things. They don't teach us how to pay bills. They don't teach us about credit cards. They, they don't teach us about defaulted mortgage loans. They don't, they don't teach us anything. Going to school doesn't make you smart. You make you smart. You pick up a book. You're on your own time. You read your own books of what you want to learn, and then you learn it on your own. That's how I learned about business. That's how I learned about SEO. I learned it all on my own. And it took me two years. Two years. And I'm still learning. I'll never stop learning. I don't age. So I have all the time in the world. If we did come from evolution, then... During that time, we never we never counted our age. If anything would have killed us, it would probably be the weather, it would probably be an animal, it would probably be another person. We didn't care about looks. We didn't pick up a mirror and look in it and then just style our monkey hair, if you believe in evolution. I believe in anything you want me to believe in. But I don't stick to one thing. And we didn't have all the luxuries we have today that are so unneeded, like the beauty industry. We don't need that. And the beauty industry has been going on since, like, before the 50s. It's nothing new. We don't need the FDA. We didn't ever need the FDA. We didn't have it before the 70s. I believe that's right. We don't need poison sprayed on our fertilizer. We don't need poison sprayed on our fruit, our vegetables. Because it's killing us. It's very slowly killing us. And there are always those miserable people who are just the basic people who just say, well, we're going to die anyways. Might as well enjoy it. That's the failure mindset. That's the, I'm going to live with what I have. I was given this. It's the only thing I can do. And I'm just going to celebrate until I die. That's the failure mindset. Because you're not growing. You're dying. You're living by the moment. And you're dying. You're not ever thinking about the future. You don't even care about a future. You care about working for someone else the rest of your entire life. And then 
getting a house, a mortgage that you'll maybe pay off before you die, and then you'll die. If you should invest in anything, it's in yourself. If you should invest in anything else, then train yourself to work for the entertainment industry. The things that are actually going to go up in the next few years, you should actually just check what is going to be useful in the next few years. And one is the tech industry. It can be the middle class or where you're working in an office the rest of your life. Or you can be the upper middle class who is the manager of all those people in the offices. Or you could be the elite that owns all those offices and all those managers. Yet, in our schooling system, we're taught to obey and listen. You know, that sounds really familiar, almost like the military. You're fed certain food, you're given certain ways of thinking, you're given certain rules, you're given what to learn, and you have certain set times that you have to, that you can be free, and you have to come back in for more training. It's the exact same thing. Maybe there are different terms, like one has to exercise and do combat training, but they have the same principles. You know, here's another theory. Since anyone can make any theory they want to make, any kind of idea, what if we were all just one person? A long, 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 billions of years ago, because we don't know where we came from. We never will, because we weren't there when it happened. What if we were all just one? There were no males and females. We were just one type of person, and we didn't die. Maybe, but something changed us. Something changed us. I don't know. You can create any theory, any book, any thing. What do you do when you go to school? You read a book, then you write it on a piece of paper, then you turn it in, and you get pat on the head for doing a good job, and then you get a little A, and then you get a little B, and then, oh, you got a C? You got a, a D? You got an F? Whatever happened to E? Uh, who the fuck cares if you got an F? Why do we have to be graded like cattle? There's no point. You're just segregating the kids who are good at following directions and the kids that are intuitive and going to be rich when they're older. You're just segregating. These kids will work for other people, and these kids will have be the leaders of these people. These kids will make fun of these kids because you're giving them special special privileges of getting A's or B's because they're they're smart because they follow direction. Doesn't mean you're smart. It means you're a good servant. Ah, uh, these kids are good cattle. They'll do finely. We'll make an honors club. That way the really smart ones can be even higher, and they'll become the upper middle class when they're older. Because they're really good at following directions and never saying how they truly feel. As for these kids, we'll just put them in special ed because they don't listen to us. They think outside of the box. They do weird things. They draw pictures. They do art. They're creative. Oh my god, they're creative. What terrible children. Bad. These are the retarded kids. These are the smart kids. You know what I have to say about school? Fuck school. Fuck college. Why? Because every single person, including... Yeah, a lot of our presidents, 
never graduated college. All the millionaires never graduated college. And you want to know why? You want to know why? It's because they worked their asses off while doing the dream that made them rich. They didn't conform to what everyone else was doing. They didn't say, hey, that person's doing that, so I have to do that. No, they thought outside of the box. They did what they wanted to do. People told them they couldn't, and they pretty much said, who the fuck are you to tell me I can't do something? That mindset is the winner mindset. The loser mindset is, okay, I'll do it. You're right. That's the loser mindset. And then always get someone who will be like, well, that's not very nice. Doesn't mean that they're losers. Yeah, it does. They have a sit and stay kind of mindset. They feel safe where they are and they don't want to improve in any way because they're afraid to. God, truth blast. Well, I'm going to end the video here. One thing I want to bring up before I go, but I am going to end the video very soon. Maybe we all should just get rid of all our mirrors. No, we should get rid of all our mirrors. Why? Because they're evil. When you see a reflection, and do not say in the comments, do not say, but I'm a girl. I need to see my reflection, so I have to put makeup on. That's my exact point. If we didn't know what we looked like, we wouldn't have the anxiety of trying to impress every goddamn person around us. We would be fine the way we are because we don't know what we look like. We don't have these anxieties that TV puts on us. They show all the pretty girls hanging out with pretty guys because they're pretty, because they have this makeup on their face. You don't need that. You're pretty the way you are. You're born pretty. Yet TV will strike that fear into you. Advertisements will strike that fear into you and say you're not if you don't buy their newest product or their newest brand. But you know what I say to the beauty industry? You're fake. You're fake, you're insecure, and you're hiding. You're hiding in a mask a mascara. You're hiding in a mask of cover-up. You're hiding. Someone broke you inside a really long time ago and made you feel ugly. So now you're hiding in a mask of makeup. You had an abusive boyfriend who beat you, so you became a feminist and hated men. The bully on the playground in third grade was Mexican. Now as an adult, you hate Mexicans. These little insecurities that some people have, you can get rid of. I did. And it took a really, 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 really long time. And I'm still getting over little bits and pieces. The more you hang on to things, the more you let little things bother you, the less you'll succeed in life. You'll be scared. Your anxiety will be up. You won't know how to talk to people correctly. You'll hide in your room. You'll be depressed. All these little things that can be avoided. They can. They really can. I was a video gaming stoner who just trolled people online, made fun of people. Uh, 
got drunk, did all these stupid ass things that didn't benefit me in any way. I was living with my mom, angry, mad. Now I'm only thinking about the future. I'm going to get a down payment on a house. I'm already starting my own business. There's one more step before my business is started. And how did I do it? I took action. I did it on my own. And I'm going to end the video here before it reaches 25 minutes. So it's at 20. So my point being, don't let the world control you. Don't let the media control you. Don't let the fake shit that the news throws at you make you in fear so you don't take action. Take action.